being part of a football shirt community here on Twitter, it's actually quite a chilled out place. We tend to get on quite nicely, but there's been one thing this year that has actually turned people against each other. No, not an Alan March detagging video. But actually, people's opinions on Puma's third shirts this season. Some really like it, and some don't. Now, instead of me just giving my opinion on the shirt, I thought, wouldn't it be nice if we just did, like, you know, a community thing where we all put our opinions together? So, we're chatting shirt about the 2021 Puma Borussia Dortmund Cup shirt. I can kind of see why people are against this shirt because when you first look at it, there's no badge, so there's nothing that really draws the eye. However, there is a lot to like about this shirt. First off, it's Dortmund and it's in safety yellow, which brings us back to thinking about those classic 90s Dortmund shirts. So high vis you could crowd control an event wearing one. And even though there's no badge to focus on, the club crest actually features as a jacquard throughout the material. The crest itself actually features on the back of the shirt on the upper neck. And even the controversial strip across the front replacing the badge is in a kind of perforated rubber, which I think looks really, really nice. I did say this was a community video though, so let's have a look at some of what the community thinks is quite good about the shirt. I love the Puma third template this year. I think it's uh, fresh, I think it's innovative, I think it's disruptive. When they introduced these shirts at Man City, nobody died. No, I don't think they're brilliant, but I do applaud what Puma are doing in terms of pushing the envelope and, and questioning what it is that we, we actually define as a football shirt. Well, dare I say, it's revolutionary design. Who needs a badge? They're all beginning to look the same. When they introduced these shirts at AC Milan, nobody died. I think it looks great. It's a bit necky on the player issue, maybe a little too tight. Well, it's got wonderful sublimation. I mean, who doesn't love sublimation? We all love sublimation. Ah, there's no badge on it. Yes, there is. The shadow print. It's covered in badges, my friend. Covered in them. When they introduced these shirts at Dortmund, there was that incident with the owl. Now look, I do get why a lot of people don't like this shirt. It doesn't really feel like a football shirt, kind of more like a sort of futuristic bit of training wear. But actually, it's not really the lack of badge that gets to me as much as its material. This is the player issue shirt that I'm looking at, and you need to size up by at least two on this. It is kappa tight in its fit. And I'm a little bit disappointed by the box that the player spec shirt comes in. You know I love a box with crinkly paper, and I know they're going for an eco-friendly look, but this is just a bit meh. But there's many more people than me who've got a lot of bad things to say about this shirt. So let's have a look at what the community think. Absolutely dreadful, Chris. Put it in the bin. You want your my view on the third shirt. There you go. I'm not a fan, but opinion changes. I remember when this was widely considered an abomination. I think they're future classics, particularly Milan and Man City, if they end up winning something in them. Chris wanted views on the Puma third shirt, but I couldn't bring myself to look at them. They're just so terrible. So instead, I looked at these Adidas templates. Now this is a shirt design that was done properly. Not really a fan of these kits, if I'm being honest. Um, I think they'd work if they were training kits or warm-up tops, but for me, you can't really take a, a badge off a playing kit. Um, that's that's not a good move. What do we think of Tottenham? What do we think of Tottenham? Thank you! Fair play to Puma for, for trying something different with their kits. But uh, yeah, on the whole, it's a no from me. The Puma Tard and TORD Tard, they are shite. So after all that, you could call it something of a um, mixed bag, let's say. Where do I sit on it? Well, I quite like it. Not the template, but actually just this Dortmund Cup shirt. It just reminds me of um, more classic Dortmund shirts. And love them or loathe them, you can pick up the Dortmund Cup shirt or some of the Puma Third shirts over at Subside Sports. <laughs>